How's it going everybody? Leo with the Irish Zombie Nation and I have a flashlight to show you guys today. This is my newest acquisition. Now I've had the predecessor to this light for some time. You're all familiar with it, the A-Tactical A1S and now A-Tactical is going by the name WowTac. They changed the name to WowTac. I don't know why I like A-Tactical better myself. But now they're WowTac and they got together with Jack. Black Scout Survival, if you're familiar with his YouTube channel, you might have already seen this flashlight because he's been pimping it on there for a little bit now. Basically, they took the A Tactical A1S and they modified it a bit with a very aggressive strike bezel and a red lens you can screw on. So this is the WowTac A1S. The color, I don't know, I'm not really big on it. Now, it's supposedly it's called Coyote. This does not look like Coyote at all to me. This is more of a gold color kind of a, an off gold, maybe a bronze, but I would not call this Coyote by any means. Uh, pocket clip, uh, high lumens on this, the turbo mode goes up to 1150, 1150 lumens on that, and the low is like 24 lumens. Multiple modes with the mode button right there, tail switch, very nice light, very durable, comes with a rechargeable 18650 battery. When I say rechargeable, I mean the battery itself is rechargeable. What you do is you take the battery and there's a little port on the end. You just plug your USB into that, micro USB into that, and you'll see a little red light pop up and there you go, it is charging. So that's very nice. You don't have to have a separate charger for it. You can charge it on the go anytime as long as you have a USB cable, which is provided with the flashlight. So the things about this that make this entirely different from the older A1S A tactical model is the color, the strike bezel, and the red lens. So we're gonna focus on this strike bezel and the red lens. I'm gonna get into the darkness, as dark as I can get it right now since it is daylight. And I'm gonna show you the red lens on that. I'm gonna show you the different modes on this. But right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna use a strike bezel and see how aggressive it is. I mean, just, just from that, I can tell you this thing would do some damage if you hit someone with it. If you hit them in the wrong spot, you could probably kill them with something like this. So. Not a toy by any means, not something you want to gift to your 10 year old to go out Boy Scout camping or something. But if you're looking for a tactical light and you're on a budget 40 bucks, I definitely recommend this for that. I hope they come out with a black version. So I've rambled enough about that though. Let's uh, get over here and we're gonna do some striking with this bezel. All right, so I've got this solid piece of wood right here. You can see there's no markings or anything in the top. But we're gonna strike this down on here and see what kind of damage it does. Here we go. Yeah, I would say that is some decent damage. You can see the little marks. I mean that, if you hit somebody with that, they are going to know it for sure. Not too bad on the hand. The pocket clip isn't getting in the way. Of course, they're shocked because I'm jamming a flashlight into wood, but very aggressive. It spun loose a little bit. Let me see. That's on there. Yeah, not bad. But again, you're not going to be hitting wood with this. Uh, this is for defensive purposes only, a backup if that's all you've got. And uh, it will definitely do some hardcore damage to somebody. Got this apple here. I'm going to simulate some type of a fleshy surface. I don't have anything else. I was hoping I had like a pork shoulder or something, but I don't. So the apple's going to have to do. Let's see what kind of damage this does to an apple. <laughs> yeah, I would say it kills the apple. There's no doubt about that. This apple is dead. So is this log, apparently. <laughs> There you go. Nice and gunked up in there. Look at that. I got apple. I got wood chips. I got all kinds of crap stuck in there now. So I'm going to dig that out and then we're going to go inside and I'm going to show you the lumens on this light. All right, real quick, we're going to do a close up on the light here. You can see Black Scout Survival along with Jack's logo right there. That's your mode button. Wow, tack. You can see the color to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but that does not look coyote to me at all tail cap switch right there and then the bezel you can see how aggressive that bezel is and all you do to remove it just take it spin it off like so and then you've just got the regular flashlight if you want though you can also take the little and i know it looks blue but that is actually a red lens there non-reflective red lens screw that on the same way you did the bezel and then you have a red light Screw that on, and well, you can't tell on the video right now, but it is red, trust me. All right, so we're going to now dunk this sucker. Obviously, you see the bottle of, or the bottle, the bowl of water behind me. We're going to dunk this. It is IPX7 rated, so that is a meter of water. This isn't a meter, obviously. It's just a bowl, but we're going to turn it on. You can see it's on right there. All right, and there you go. Still running. 
Everything's still working. See about switching modes here. Yep. Everything's working normal. That's the SOS. Tail cap off, on. It does have memory, obviously, so whatever mode you left it in, when you click the tail switch there, it's going to go back to that mode. Very nice. Yep, so it is waterproof. No issues with that at all. All right, well, I'm in the darkest room I have in the house right now. I was able to black out some of the windows for the most part. You can still see it's still light outside, but this is my gear room, and we're going to really quick run through the lumens on this. I'm going to turn it on, first of all. That is low right there, 24 lumens, and then we've got medium, 140 lumens. High is 460, and then turbo is 1150. Very bright. Hit it again, and you've got an SOS feature. Very bright, and SOS is in the 1150. Now, if I, I believe, let me see, in order to get to S, is there a strobe? There is, let me see, long press, and you've got strobe. I never use strobe on anything, it's a useless feature to me, but there's different run times on this, and, uh, you know, the low will last you for, what, six days, and then high will last you, or turbo will go up to three hours, but you're not supposed to leave it on turbo any longer than 10 minutes, or you risk, you know, the battery heating up too much, and the circuits getting a little fried and such, so, you know, turbo is just a real quick, I need to light my way, every, see everything around me, and uh, it'll do the trick. So again, I mean, very bright flashlight, very durable as you have seen. All right, I've got the red lens cap screwed on now, and that is one of my favorite features on this light. Here you go, in low, you see it lights up pretty well. You can see everything you need to see. This would be great. This is just the uh, instructions that came with this, but you can see that's great for reading a map or something, maintain your night vision, and uh, you know, you can still switch through all of the different modes with this. And I mean, that red is just gonna light up everything, but maintain your night vision as well. I mean, I'm not gonna use turbo on this. More than likely, I'm always gonna have it on low just for looking at something in my bag or something like that. But to me, the red on here, having that red lens is one of the best features. It reminds me of the old GI uh, flashlights that had the different lenses that screwed into the bottom of it and you were able to put on those different lenses for map reading and so on and so forth. So great feature, but there it is. That's the red lens, really nice. Well, there you have it. As you can see, this is a great flashlight, very durable, waterproof, uh, drop proof. I'm not going to do the drop test. This is the same as the drop test you've seen with the A Tactical version of this. I do like that red lens, though. That is a seller for me. For $40, I don't think you can get anything better than this flashlight right here. I mean, uh, normally a flashlight like this of similar quality and features would run you well over 100 bucks, but with WowTac, you're getting it for 40. I don't know any that come with a screw-on red non-reflective lens like that. That's the that's the seller for me. That's why I like this light. I can throw it in my ribs front pack if I go hiking. It's probably what I'm going to do with it. And then if I need to read a map or something at night, I mean, that's that's just a great feature. I, I always have red light when I'm out camping. I don't like uh, shining bright white lights at people or, you know, just screwing up my night vision. I prefer red and that's the seller for me. As far as the strike bezel go, you could see that thing is extremely aggressive. You saw the damage it does. Uh, you could also wear it as a pinky ring, I guess, if you wanted to do that. Uh, I, maybe that's the way you carry it. And then you have the flashlight when you need to do, you just screw that on. But, uh, I don't really have a purpose for this in my daily life. Maybe you do law enforcement, military, nice little strike bezel there. Just make sure it's screwed on nice and tight. So, do I recommend this light? I absolutely do. I just wish that it came in black. All black would have been a lot better. These parts are interchangeable though. This is basically the same as the A1, uh, A1S from A Tactical. So you could screw this part off, have the front of it black, the back of it this gold color, or vice versa, however you want to do it. But I wish that they had come out with an all black version of this. I would have bought that instead of this, but I still dig it either way, guys. So if you got any questions, you know what to do. Comments down below, ask them or comment. Tell me what you think about this light. Please like, share, and subscribe in the link, uh, or I'm sorry, in the description box below. There will be a link where you can purchase this on Amazon. 40 bucks, guys, can't go wrong. So that's it today, guys. Thanks again for joining me. And until next time, I will see you around the fire.